Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we've got another episode of our classic series called It's Okay When Liberals Do It. This time it's pertaining to the masks that everyone's been wearing in light of this current health scare. The masks have become a big trend and a good positive thing in a way to keep people clean and protected. There's nothing wrong with wearing masks and there's nothing wrong with possibly not wearing a mask too in certain situations. You don't have to, it's voluntary, but it's certainly encouraged in large crowded areas, particularly and in the city and places like that. Now, today we're talking about how a group of people in our country are attacking the president for not wearing a mask. They're trying to come after him everywhere possible because they frankly have a big vendetta and a chip on their shoulder about the president. I'm of course talking about reporters or the very biased left-wing mainstream media who's attacking Trump like usual, this time regarding the mask. It's very interesting too because these same reporters, we've got two specific examples today, and these reporters are also known to take off their own masks in certain situations. So it's very contradictory, very uh, double standard. We've seen examples of both of these reporters doing just that. They take off their mask whenever it's important for them and whenever it's in a good situation. But then they also attack the president and say, oh, you're not wearing a mask. Why aren't you wearing a mask? They're pulling a Karen move, basically, and it really needs to stop. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. The first example comes from our favorite reporter from CBS. Her name is Wei Zhe Zhang, and she's been really, really pissed at the president for a long long time now because she got called out by him recently a few times for kind of acting ridiculous and she's made up stuff about the president's team saying they said things about the kung flu and then she also asked him silly questions about this and that she cuts off the president she's a really rude bad, terrible reporter. And the recent incident we're talking about is she had a case where she got caught taking her mask off like a week ago when the president said something about asking China. She asked a question, he answered it and then said, hey, if you're worried about all these deaths, you should ask China about it. And that caused Weijia to take her mask off because she wanted everyone to see that she was Asian and make trying to make Trump look like a racist. This is race baiting 101, classic liberal tactic. And ever since that came out last week, she's been getting worse and worse. And that brings us to today's story. The Twitchy website has an interesting article that's pretty funny. It says, hello Pulitzer, CBS Weijia Zhang writes entire thread, breaking story on Trump not wearing mask at Ford. It accidentally proves he did. So she really duffed this one up because in an effort to go after the president and kind of got you him playing this whole camera Aaron card saying, oh, he's not wearing a mask, guys. I'm going to tattletale on the president. And then, boom, right here, she actually proves he did wear a mask. And this is a funny story for me. I actually commented on one of her tweets about it, too, because I remember one point she was tweeting about this mask stuff at Ford saying, oh, the place, everyone at Ford said he they thought the president was going to wear a mask. And then she said, oh, but the president took his mask off and then they just went with it. And she just went off on it and I could tell it was getting into this whole storm. And that's what's resulted in this article and this story and even this video. Because again, we know that this reporter will take her mask off when she feels like it, when she wants to show her face and kind of make the president look racist. That's okay. But if Trump takes off a mask, that's not okay. And that's classic liberal double standard. That's why this show's called It's Okay When Liberals Do It, because according to them, it is. They really think that's true. And it just goes to show these people have no shame either. I mean, I don't know why she thinks everyone forgot that she was taking her mask off last week, but I guess she just hopes that the viewers and everyone watching her is as dumb as she is. So the article goes on to say, the moment we've been waiting for. Man, CBS Wei Zhang really oversold this nonsense. Sense. Her first tweet says, the moment you've been waiting for, the president is not wearing a mask while touring the Ford plant in Michigan. Oh my God, the horror. Ah, ah, where are my pearls? I need to clutch my pearls. Even though it's company policy at UAW said he should. And the state attorney general wrote an open letter asking him to follow the rules. Now, here's how I see this actually. I've actually thought about this a couple of different ways. And what this is, I see them as kind of trying to shame the president into wearing a mask. And it's kind of this power play right now. It's not even about the mask. It's not about health, okay? Do they? Do we really think that Weijia cares about these people not getting sick? I mean, first 
of all, we know the president's not sick. We know the president is probably really, really locked down. He's healthy. He's getting tested all the time. If he was even close to being sick, he would not be going on this trip. He would not be leaving the White House, all that. We know that's true. And we also know Wei Zhejiang and these reporters, they don't care about sickness and they don't care about trying to keep their masks on because they take their own masks off. They're trying to play up this whole scare and they're trying to act like they're really freaking out when they're not. I mean, she doesn't wear a mask. She takes her mask off whenever she wants to make the president look racist. I mean, what... Why do we, are we going to pretend? I don't get why these girls, these female reporters all of a sudden, they're always so dramatic and they act like they care about everyone's health and they're acting like they're pretending to really care about the world, but they don't. They're just self-centered. They care about getting attention and getting ratings and views. And back to the power play part of this. So the way I see it, this power play stuff, it's like, they're trying to make the president do something. They're trying to say, hey, put this mask on. If you don't put this mask on, we're going to call you racist. We're going to call you out. Like, put the mask on. Like, they're just trying to power play him. And I can see why Trump would kind of clap back at that, would kind of resist. Because it's just like, why do they want me to wear the mask so much? And in a way, I could see a couple other angles, too. The other thing I kind of thought of was, I think, as a world leader, there's kind of a way where it's like they don't want to see the leader wearing a mask. There's a kind of image if we get too much of the trump or any leader kind of wearing a mask it kind of almost is like a sign of weakness i don't know if that's thinking too much into it but i think it's it shows a sign it's like seeing your president on a hospital bed or in some kind of other sick situation now we know that doesn't necessarily hold true because nowadays Masks are super common too, and everyone's wearing them because of this new situation. But this isn't this is new, and there's still a kind of older generation and a lot of people who would think that unless you're a surgeon or a doctor, wearing a mask means you're sick. And I think the president doesn't want to project that image. So I think that's part of the equation too. But the other part is he's resisting this power play from the journalists who want to say, Hey, you gotta wear this, you gotta wear this. They just want to boss him and he's not playing that game. And then the article says, oh my God, who cares? This is news. Gosh, it's almost like Weja has some sort of vendetta or agenda here. Yeah, of course. On his decision to go maskless, I wore one before, the president said, but I didn't want to give the press the pleasure of seeing it. Mr. Trump said at one point during the tour, he also wore goggles because he did. And this is good. Actually, this is what I was just saying before. I kind of predicted this. But yeah, he was doesn't want to give the press the pleasure because they're pushing for it. They're trying to get him in a mask. They want him to be kind of infantilized, kind of like, how do you say, emasculated. You know, they're trying to kind of take him down a peg, and that's why the president's resisting. And I would totally go along with that because, I mean, screw the press. Screw these people trying to force him to do anything. I understand that people need to be safe and be careful and, you know, we all need to make sure we don't get anyone sick, but that's not the real case here. These people that pretend this is about the health and wellness and safety and everything, that's not what they really care about. They just want to pressure the president and kind of like make him do what he doesn't want. The president pulled on a mask to show he has one and said he thinks he actually looks better with it on. He did not wear it. Okay, except he did, as the article says, and several people were more than happy to point this out to Weijia. Frank here tweets he did. Here's the president in the mask. President wears mask at the Ford plant. I think this is just like the one, maybe one of the few moments he wore it. And this reminds me back to that idea, like where it's kind of. I don't think the president looks weak. I don't think anyone does. But there's just this kind of older kind of. Uh, stereotype, this kind of image, you see someone with a mask, especially this kind of world leader. And this also reminds me of, uh, this is the only time I've seen the president in the mask. I don't think I've ever seen it. I don't know if there's other images or other instances, but yeah, I've never seen it before. But yeah, he did wear it. So he, she kind of got proven wrong because she said he didn't wear the mask. Here's him wearing the mask. Here's people tweeting pictures, all of it, president wearing the mask. And then this is the picture I was hinting at earlier, the one where she takes it off. He did the wear the mask and it appears he wore it properly. So she can't take it off. She thinks it's okay. Like I can do this even though she's under strict orders 
under the press corps to wear a mask and they're all in this situation, she she could possibly lose her press credentials for disobeying these kinds of rules because she, I don't know if they realize this, that's the thing, these people think they're above the president, it's crazy. They don't realize how hierarchies and kinds of uh, chain of command works, but yeah, the press, that's why I don't get, they don't, that they always interrupt the president too and I'm like, don't you realize you should be respecting this guy? He's like the leader of the world. I mean, yeah, be inquisitive, question him if he does something you don't like you know we can investigate and you know don't go easy on the president but you also have to you can respect him and just say hey if you question something you don't have to be a jerk about it you don't have to cut him off but that's besides the point now we're talking about masks again and she's taking hers off and she's in the press corps she's just some random reporter but the president can take his off because he is in charge i mean if he doesn't want to wear a mask he doesn't have to it's just that's just the rule i don't know i'm not trying to say he's like the king of england or something we're not like a monarchy here or anything but he is the leader he is the top dog he is the one that sets the precedent so if he wants to take a mask off he can do it and if no one's gonna stop him like ford didn't have a problem when he took it off the only people having a problem are these butthurt reporters these ones with agendas these ones that are mad that the president has been calling them out and blasting the news because they're fake news and they're just propaganda pushers and that's why this lady has a chip on her shoulder that's why she's going so hard on trump it's not because because she really cares about the mass or people's health or the crisis it's because she doesn't like the guy because he called her out and she's just a bad reporter who can't do anything without having emotion and being over the top this is called a fact error here he has a mask here's Weja's tweet saying he didn't wear a mask and then there's a picture of him wearing a mask so she was wrong I mean, that's the basis. I mean, that's just, she said something that's wrong. Uh, I'm not saying I'm never wrong. Like, I'm usually almost always right. But I'm also not a CBS White House reporter. And I don't have a, a, a verified badge. Like, I'm not a fear. These guys are reporters. And if a reporter gets a fact wrong, that used to mean something. That used to mean, hey, they need to apologize. They need to retract. They need to rewrite their story. We need to get this corrected. But this day and age, it's not about facts. We're beyond truth. We're about reporters not really giving people information, but pushing left-wing propaganda. Carly calls them out saying this. Why the unfair reporting, Weja? He wore it in the required area. More importantly, he and the others traveling with him were tested that morning. Exactly. I know that he was tested. These guys don't have it. I mean, what's the issue? We, I understand being careful and being safe, but if you're not sick, you technically don't need the mask. And yeah, the reason other people wear masks is because most people can't get tested that often. Most people can't get tested on a regular basis, maybe once a week if you're in like a slow area that can have that kind of option. But in general, this if you're tested once a day, then you're good. I mean, that's probably what the president does. I wouldn't be surprised if he was tested once a day or at least like before leaving the White House, depending on what he's doing. I mean, it's not that big of a deal for a president to have some extra tests. I mean, that's the person we want to be testing, right? And yeah, this wage of reporting is seriously unfair. Here's Ford's official statement. According to Weja, Bill Ford encouraged President Trump to wear a mask when he arrived. He wore a mask during a private viewing of three Ford GTs from over the years. The president later removed the mask for the remainder of that visit. So she just said he didn't wear a mask. Now he did. You're wrong. Sources tell me Bill Ford asked the president to wear a mask when he got there, and he agreed. The expectation was that he would keep it on for the entire visit, and officials were surprised when he took it off. Trump said he was given a choice, but no one from Ford said that. Except they may have. A source familiar with Ford said he was given a choice, Weja, so there. Isn't that how this works? Yeah, so this is the guy, this is Twitch, he kind of making fun of her making up sources like she acts like she knows and talks to everyone in Ford and that was the tweet that I first saw of this and I responded to on my Twitter and it was like she acts like she talked to everyone at Ford when she clearly didn't and she doesn't know what they're all thinking in every single minute of the visit like there's points where the cameras aren't there the reporters aren't sitting on Trump's shoulder when he's talking he could have had a conversation with Ford or someone he could have called them ahead of time texted them there's a hundred ways ways this could have went down but Weja just acts like she has sources and she's like oh yeah no one said that there's no way the president's lying the president's lying it's like no no one trusts you lady you're a jilted lover 
That's what I've said about these reporters before, and it's why you can't trust them. Now, granted, she's not an actual jilted lover of Trump's, but she acts like Trump like broke her heart. She acts like someone that just got divorced and lost everything in the divorce. And that's why you can't trust someone like that. Like You can't trust someone that just divorced from someone else to be honest about them when they have this bad blood, even if it's just kind of like a one-way thing. Because in this situation, I don't think Trump cares much about Wei Zhejiang at all. He probably doesn't even know her by name like he just called her out one time and then went on with his day but she's been harping on it ever since and she's acting like he broke her heart and just kind of ruined her life and that's why you can't trust someone to report on that that's why she shouldn't be at the white house press room i mean if i was running cbs i would relocate her i'm not saying she should get fired or anything but i'm just saying she can't run this job properly it's like say for example i was a reporter that was in charge of reporting on a baseball team. Let's say I was put in a I was working for CNN and they assigned me to be the Braves, the Atlanta Braves official reporter. But at the same time, I didn't say him, I didn't tell anything, but I hate the Braves. Let's imagine I hate the Braves and I'm I'm a Cardinals fan or maybe some other fan, a rival team's fan and if you hate the Braves, you shouldn't be covering them because you're not, you're biased. I mean, you're just way too biased and too against them to kind of give an honest opinion. It doesn't make sense, but that's where we're at today. That's the world we're living in. And this is what's happened to the press. These guys take their masks off whenever they want, but they try to make the president wear one. And then they make up these stories and these fake sources. And it's really getting out of hand. And actually, this isn't even the only instance. I have one more example before we wrap things up. Here's a tweet from Eric Trump. It's got 3 million views on the video. It's really interesting because it's another reporter, another network. This is CNN reporter Caitlin Collins. And she's another person who's mass police too. She she always is telling people to wear masks and calling out Trump for not having a mask and all that stuff. But at the same time, as you can see by this video, as soon as the press conference is over, as soon as the she thinks the cameras are off, she takes her mask off right there. Mask off. Boom. What's up with that? What's up with that? Hold on. Replay. Slow motion. And it's off. She's going to the ear. And it's off. She's got the mask off. And it just goes to show, is it really that important? Is this disease really that scary to you? They act like they're so scared. Oh my God, it's so disastrous. And I'm not doubting it's evil and it sucks and people are dying. I'm not saying that's not happening. I'm not tinfoil hatting. I'm just saying these reporters overhype it and then they act like these masks are just so vital. You have to wear them or everyone's going to die in the whole room. But then they take them off themselves. This is at a press conference just a few days ago. We had that image of Wei Zhezane taking off her own mask just to make a point, just to show that she was a certain race to race bait Trump. And it just goes to show these reporters are terrible, terrible people, totally dishonest, hypocritical, and full, filled with double standards. I mean, this is just basic, it's okay when liberals do it, 101. And the reporters, these female reporters, they all seem to be girls for some reason. They all seem to be liberal feminist types, and they're just the worst. That about wraps things up. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you comment your thoughts on everything below. What do you think about this series? What do you think about this edition, these reporters, this mass situation, and everything going on with President Trump and the journalists? Comment your thoughts on everything below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you all next time.